Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a general message for you guys. We're going to find out what spirit wants you to know. Please remember this may not resonate for everyone, okay? So let's get straight into this and find out what spirit wants you to hear. Wow. So I've pulled four cards so far and we have... The Queen of Cups, the Lovers, the Two of Cups, and the High Priestess, okay? So I'm definitely picking up a very spiritual connection, okay? Somebody here is in love with you. This is like, with the Two of Cups here and the um, Lovers, this is definitely somebody in love with you, okay? Um, they also feel a very strong soul connection to you. So, whoever this person is, right, they are trying to gather information about you from everywhere, okay? I see this person seeing psychics, okay, tarot reading. I see this person trying to gather information from people you know. It could be past friends, okay? Uh, maybe it's people they know that know you as well. Um, this person has serious feelings for you. Um, I do see this person pretending they don't care about you, but yet watching everything you do and really trying to look into you, okay? Wow, this is like, this person's not only in love with you, but they're also obsessed with you, and they're convinced that you guys are meant to be together, right? They're convinced that, like, you're the one for them, and you're the one that wants like they want to be with and they feel like they're in love with you and that there is no one else, okay? I pulled that on 222. I can definitely tell this is a very spiritual connection that I'm picking up today. Um, this person wants happily ever after with you. They want a family with you, okay? They're very focused on you. They're also very confused about this connection. They're not really sure how you're feeling. That's why they pretend they don't care, right? But this person's fully in love with you and obsessed with you. Um, it's like obsessed because they cannot stop thinking about you, researching. I'm getting that this person's definitely into Taro or they're definitely, yeah, Taro. I keep getting drawn to this um, Queen of Cups here, right? And I'm definitely seeing they're seeing somebody that's very spiritual, okay, a tarot reader about the connection. Um, and I'm getting that they're, it's like they obsessively watch, okay, tarot about you, or they obsessively, they may read, okay, they may have their own, like, deck, and they may read, and they continuously try to pull information about you. Also, they talk to other people about you, okay? Um, this person, they're very invested, okay, in this connection. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Gemini or a Capricorn or a Cancer or an Aquarius. Yeah, this person's really holding on to you. Like, they cannot let you go. They cannot forget about you. I'm hearing lizard, okay? Let me know if that resonates. They're trying to figure out how they can move things forward. They're very focused on you. It's like, they don't see themselves with anybody else. They're not even interested in anybody else. This person wants to be with you. You're their wish fulfillment, right? I'm hearing Jemima, let me know if that resonates for you or if that's like your name or something like that. Yeah, this person is determined. They're determined to be with you. They're determined to move things forward. 
it's like they're obsessed, okay? This person doesn't really think about anything else. Well, they're not at the moment. They're really thinking about ways they can move things forward with you, right? This person keeps wanting to better themselves, okay, for you. Like, everything that they're doing right now is because you're in their mind. Um, they could be really trying to work on themselves, work on their finances, okay? Um, I'm picturing a house, so they could be trying to get, like, a house from something. Um, they could be trying to get stable, um, so they can come forward. Now, I do see this person... There's some type of external force. I'm hearing external force, okay? So I'm getting there's some type of... It's like this person may be hiding their feelings, okay, because of other people. Um, they're very protective. Whoever this is, they're very protective over you. Like, if anybody ever said anything bad about you, they're fighting for you, right? Um, this person really cares about you, and people around them can see that. Even though they may pretend they don't care and they may be denying their feelings, this, this person, they're not really good at um, hiding their feelings to the people around them because they get really um, defensive about you, they're really protective over you. They, if anybody tries to talk bad about you, this person is fighting for you, right? I'm hearing Joseph. Yeah, this... Uh, I'm hearing, like, this person will go to war for you. This person will fight for you. This person can't get over you. They're in a really bad place because they feel like they made the wrong decision here. They may not have told you how they feel, okay? So this person feels like that they've been immature. So there's something about this person, they feel like they've acted immature um, in front of you, okay? I am getting they could have got into a fight or something in front of you and now they're embarrassed about it. Or... It's like them hiding their feelings because of other people and they're embarrassed about it. I'm hearing I'm that I'm hearing that song from who's it from? Um I think it's Drake and Nicki Minaj. Um and it, I'm pretty sure it's called I'm So Proud of You. And I'm hearing the chorus and Again, like, this person's really proud of you. Like, they're really proud of you. They're really protective over you, completely in love with you. They feel like you're the one they're meant to be with. Like, anybody talk shit about you, this person is sticking up for you, right? They're sticking up for you. The thing is, to your faith, okay, this person is very guarded, very defensive. Like, they feel like they haven't been very vocal with their feelings or they haven't, sh like, really showed you how they truly feel. This person, I am getting that they're a little bit worried about what other people are going to think about them if they're romantic or if they do reveal their feelings, okay? But... The thing is about this person is they may not realise how obvious it is um, that they're into you, right? Because the people around them know. Like, they're trying to hide it, but it's not working, right? Um, you could be dealing with somebody that... They could be going through some type of depression or something. Uh... With the moon reverse and the five of pentacles reverse, that's definitely some type of mental issue with, like, for me. Um, so they could definitely be going through some type of, like, mental issue, okay? There could be, like, anxiety, depression, okay? But they definitely feel isolated. They feel alone. And they also feel like they they have made the wrong mistake here, okay? They, they feel like that... It's like this person just won't tune you, right? Like, even though they feel 
so much love here for you. They won't come forward. They won't reveal it. They're too scared of what other people are going to think. This person has a problem. Like, they really care about what other people think, okay? It's like they're hiding this. Again, it's not working, but they are embarrassed, okay? They're embarrassed to show their emotions here. They're also, um, again, like seeing some type of tarot reader or they're getting tarot readings or maybe they just watch them on YouTube. But they do it a lot and they really try to hide that. Yeah, this person, wow, they are trying, they want to figure out everything about you. They're really trying to, they're looking into you. They're trying to figure out how you're feeling about them. Um, they're also trying to ask people around them how you're feeling. Like, they're trying to, like, find clues, right? For some of them, they feel some type of competition, okay? They feel like that you may have a choice between two people or there could be a few people that are interested in you. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Taurus or a Libra. So, they cannot get over, this person cannot get over you, right? So, they may feel like they have to hide their feelings, right? Um, they may feel like they're restricted in some type of way and they have to hide their feelings. Because a part of them feel like, uh, it's like it would be wrong Right, they could be married, or you could be married, or there could be some type of connection in the way. But I do just see this person, they're, they're very guarded, okay, and even though they're completely in love with you, they're not telling you, they're hiding it, they're not moving forward, they're just watching you, okay. Um, this is them wishing, waiting, and hoping, and this person definitely feels a soul connection to you it's like them to their friends and family members they pretend they're not into you but they're completely in love with you and they definitely feel like um yeah this is a soul connection but again they act like a completely different person it's like this person lived two lives they may even um so they may talk shit about you or something to somebody around them. But the thing is, if this person talks shit about you or if anyone talks shit about you, they start protecting you, sticking up for you. Like this person starts going off. The people around this person, they can see that they're pretending that... Okay, so... Again, whoever this is, they pretend they don't even like you, okay? Um, but again, because they can't handle anybody else talking shit about you or talking bad about you or saying anything about you, people around them can see how they feel, right? They're not really fooling anyone. Um, they're trying to, but then it's not working, right? Yeah. <laughs> People can see that they're in love with you here, okay? Like, they're stuck on you, right? Wow. This person may have tried to make you jealous with somebody else, okay? But again, this one's trying to throw everybody else off, okay? So, the thing is, people around them may have been mentioning how it's like really obvious that they love you but they keep pretending that they don't so they could have tried to make you jealous with somebody else or tried to bring somebody else into the picture to throw people off they may have started something with somebody else and now they really regret it okay they're not invested in it like this is not something that they're emotionally invested in at all because they're focused on you and they love you For some reason, this person really guarded. Like, they feel like it would be wrong to come to come at you. Like, they're really guarded, but they want to be with you. 
yeah, they feel a serious soul connection to you. They also feel like you're really mysterious, like there's something very secretive about you or something very mysterious about you, very unique. That they've never, like, they've never met anybody like you, right? They feel like you're very powerful. They're not sure how you made them fall in love, okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Piscean. Yeah, this person's completely stuck on you and they're not fooling anyone. They really aren't. Um, for some of them, they try to bring somebody else into the picture, like a karmic or something. Or just try to make you jealous with somebody else. But this was really nothing serious. It was like a sexual connection that they weren't really into anyway. There was no... like They, they may have tried to show it off to try to make you jealous. But they, this person did not even compare to you. Yeah, they miss you. Okay, this person continuously brings you up. Um, they continuously check on you. And again, very protective over you. Like, completely in love with you, even though they're trying to hide that. This person... It, they may, okay, again, they may talk shit about you. They are literally living a double life because they are pretending that they don't feel the way they do when they do and it's breaking their heart. But for some reason, they feel like it would be wrong to come at you. Okay? So this person could have been from your past and they ruined things with you and they feel like you wouldn't take them back. Yeah, um, there's something about this connection where they feel like this connection would be really hard, okay? Like, it would be hard to move this forward, okay? There's something in the way, there's something blocking this. Um, they could have caused some type of disaster, okay? Or they just feel like this could never happen, right? Um, even though they want to move forward, they it's like they're holding themselves back, okay? Because they feel like... Either this will never happen or there's something in the way where this can't happen. Again, there's a strong obsession, but there's this person pretending they don't want this when this is literally all they want. And they're hiding their feelings or holding back. I'm hearing the name Emily. Pretending they don't care, like, but all they do is think about you. This person has a lot of dreams about you. The thing is about this person is I'm getting they have definitely, they've done a lot here to pretend they don't feel the way they do. They've even lied here about something. And again, they're pretending they don't care about the connection when all they do is think about you. And it's confusing because this person knows they're meant to be with you, but they're literally holding back their feelings and not going towards what they truly want. For some of them, they don't feel good enough or they may have said something about you out of ego here. Again, they're too worried about what people think here to be honest that's why they're pretending they don't feel the way they do and there could be some type of reason like they could be like an age different or something like that um because they feel like it would be wrong to come towards you or it would be wrong to feel the way that they do about you okay so that's all i have for you guys if it resonated let me know in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye